All right, so you've practiced a number of different ways to solve simultaneous equations. The best one is by elimination, and that's probably what you'll use here. What we need to do is help you with problem solving with simultaneous equations. The ultimate goal is to use maths in more useful scenarios, so we need to practice dealing with worded problems, and hopefully I don't stuff, a, stuff up a primary school addition in this video. So what are the steps? The same steps as when you did worded problems with algebra before, and also worded problems with inequalities. Decide what variables x and y represent. Often the question tells you. Step two, construct two equations from the question info connecting x and y. Step three, solve simultaneous equations. You're usually gonna use elimination. Step four, check the solutions with the OG scenario if you have time. Step five, write the answer in a sentence. Little asterisk here. Every year people ask me, why is step two so hard? Is there a way to know how to set up the equations all the time? No, there isn't, because the scenarios are all different. Heck, in your practice test, the scenarios are all Kanye West. Here, um, here what I'm telling you is step two can be tricky. There is not one setup that's always going to work. You're going to overcome the difficulty by practicing and seeing many different scenarios. So the scenario that we have today is I've got two adult tickets and three children's tickets to a play cost 45 bucks. Three adult tickets and four children's tickets are $64. What is the cost of each ticket type? So let's apply those steps. Decide what variables X and Y represent. What can I allow X to represent? You're getting to the equation, but I just want to say, can you boys stop? Just leave it for now. It's not about him. It's not about you either. What if I'm finding the cost of each ticket type, what could X represent? The cost of which kind of ticket? Good. X is dollars for adult ticket. What could Y then represent? Someone else? Cost of? Dollars for child ticket. This is the tricky part, setting up the equations. Do we have two different ticket buying situations? Two adult tickets and three children's tickets cost $45. So the student that said it before, good. 2x plus, can you finish off the equation for scenario one? equals 45. Why is that representative of this? Because if, let's say adult tickets were $5 each. What's the cost of two adults tickets going to be? Two times by five. Okay? That's the first equation. Can someone else help me? Boys, I asked you to stop. Huh? It's not your bad anymore if you've done it multiple times and I've already asked you. Next time there'll be a signed CT. What would the second equation be? All right. Well, I almost said the name. Ah, I just shouted. What would the next um, equation be for the second scenario? Yes? Um, 3x plus 4y. Excellent. Equals 64. 64. Are these both equations relating to the same two variables? How do I show that? What do I draw? I do a little, uh, just a little, a little twerky bracket there. They're simultaneous equations. Let's apply the elimination because these are both in general form. Are any of these already matching? We're doing the ignite rate style. Are any of the coefficients already matching? No, so I need to multiply both somehow. Which coefficients are going to get me the smallest numbers? Two and three or three and four? Two and three. Okay, the top I'm going to multiply by three. Good. The bottom I can multiply by. Good. Please be aware, I could have multiplied the top by negative 3 and the bottom by 2. It really doesn't matter because you're still going to eliminate. So rewrite this after multiplying. So that's going to be, after I've multiplied the top by 3, what's a, someone read it out to me. Can you tell me what I wrote for multiplying the top equation by positive 3? Equals, that's a big number. 135. Well, flexing on all of us now. Okay. 
Next one. Times it by negative two. Negative six x plus one negative eight y. Hundred twenty eight. Are they are they going to eliminate now? So I can add vertically, and let's not stuff this up. Like uh, I don't want to sick edit on this last one. There's not going to be any x's left. I have nine y's. Take eight y's. So it's going to be just a y equals. 128. 7. 7. Y is equal to 7. Which one would it look easier to substitute that into? The top. The top because there's no takes. No one likes take. So 6x plus 9 times by 7 equals 135. 6x plus 63, I think it is. It's 135. Because I'm going to do 135 take 63, please. 72, and then 72 divided by 6. I'm not finished yet, because you were given the question in sentences. So you need to write the answer in sentences. Therefore, adult, adult ticket was X is 12 bucks. Child ticket was seven bucks. What is the only difference between that and what I started teaching you at the start of this double? It started off as words. The actual maths is the same. It's an application of the maths. So between now and when do I have you next for maths? Friday. Friday. Can you please find homework? Homework and now to end of uh, 15D. So that on Friday, you can start the full practice test and writing your cheat sheet. Heck, if you wanted to write your cheat sheet now, I'll give you paper for it.